What's up guys? So today we're going to do remove first and last character. So let's read the prompt and, and figure out how we can do this. So it's pretty straightforward. Your goal is to create a function that removes the first and last character of a string. You're given one parameter, the original string. You don't have to worry with strings with less than two characters. So that means we're not going to get a string that's less than two. So it won't be one. It'll have at least two. So let's, let's take a look at the tests and see what they're expecting from us. Okay, so if we, so our function, when we're done, when we get eloquent, we want to return lo, loquin. So we remove the E and remove the T right here. And for country, we remove the Y and we remove the C. Person, remove the P and remove the N. So we get Urso. Place, remove the P, remove the E, so we get lack okay because it's it's only two characters we just we return this empty string and oops we, re we remove the first o and the last s so i'm getting a kind of an idea here for what's what's happening so um so how are we going to do this let's see so we can there's a couple of different ways we could do this we could say um I think you can delete characters from a string. I'm not sure. So one approach might be to have a pointer to the first element on the string and a pointer to the last element and just say delete the first pointer and delete the last pointer and then return the input string. So we'll just always delete the first and last character and uh, return the result. Um, so I'm going to try that and I'm not sure. I don't think you can. So strings might be an immutable this might not work. So we're going to try this and if it doesn't work, we'll we'll do something else. We'll create a new string. So, let's try this. We'll say um we'll we'll del s0 and del s -1. So, so 0 points to the first character in the string and -1 points to the last character. Let's see if we can return s. I don't think that eh you know, 50-50, this will work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Let's see the error. String object doesn't support item deletion. Yeah. So strings are immutable. You can't change them. So we can create a new... We can't modify this original string, but we can create a new string. So we can say... So the question is, how do we create a new string that... Um, a new string that doesn't have the first or last character. So let's grab eloquent and figure that out so go like that and make this smaller okay so let's let's do some example let's do this example and see how we can do this well okay so eloquent we have eloquent how are we going to create a new string and um and remove the first and last element so i'm thinking we can have a pointer so we can iterate over every single character in the string like this and and simply skip the first and last element. We're going to create a new string. So new string is going to initially start as an empty array. We're going to iterate over all characters and we're going to skip the first and last one. So let's see how this how this is going to work. So i is the first character, so we skip it. Then we go to the second one and we add this to our new string. O we add this because it's not a first or last. Q, we add because not first or last. U, we add because not first or last. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay. E, we add because not first or last. N, we add because not first or last. And then we return. So, so let's, so how, how's that working? We're, we, we start our pointer. I'm, I'm calling I a pointer. We started at our first element and and we iterate over every single character in our string and we have this condition for when we're going to skip skip characters and it's if it's the first or the last one so how would you here's the first question how would you how would you add a simpler question is how would you create a new string how would you just copy the original string we would say we would have the exact same code, but without our condition. We wouldn't skip any of them. We would just add all of them. 
So let's let's do let's write a uh, some pseudo code for how we're gonna do this. Um, remove first last. The input is s, which is a string, and our output is going to be a string also. So we'll say so we'll for each character in s we'll say if care is first we'll, we'll say if care is not first or last and we have to do a uh, new string we have to set our new string variable equals empty so we're going to say new string equals new string plus care so when we when we add when we do this plus l it's going to equal l and when we do l plus o it will equal lo so we can we can create a new string like by adding them together the characters together like this and then when we're done we want to return new string Okay, so that's that's our pseudocode. Kind of looks like Python, but we don't have all the syntax. So let's now turn our pseudocode into Python code. So we'll say def, and let's so it's it's called remove care. Remove care s, and our input is a string. Our output will be a string. We'll say new string equals empty, and we'll say for care in our string. If, uh, I guess we can't do that, but we can do this. We can say, we can iterate over the indexes. So strings are are represented as arrays or a list in, in Python. So we can, we could say S0. So for example, eloquent, if we do S0 on eloquent, it will equal E. If we do S1, it will equal L. And so on. So we can we can iterate over the indexes of our input string for i, which well let's call this index for index in range length of our string. So it'll go from our indexes will go from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So i is going to equal zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so if i does not equal, um, uh, I guess we can, this is a little bit easier to read. If i is in between this and len s, so if i is greater than or equal to 1, well, I guess maybe this is going to be easier to read. Okay, so if i is greater than 0, we're going to skip the first element. And if i is less than the length, so the length of s, so the length of eloquent here is 8. Uh, yeah, the length of, ele of element eloquent is 8. We want to skip 0 and 7. So if, in this case, um, i is going to be less than 7 so we'll skip 7 6 will be the last the last index sorry about this wait if i index okay so index so what values is index going to take it's going to start at 1 2 3 4 5 6 it'll get to 7 and skip it because index is is not less than 7 when index equals 7 is not less than 7. That's weird to, th weird to say, but but index takes on all these different values. It start, starts off as 0 and ends at 7. When it's 0, this evaluates false, and when it's 7, this evaluates false. So we're skipping the first and last elements. So when we do that, we're going to update our new string. And what are we going to update it with? The character at that index. So let's see 
let's walk through an example with our code. Okay, so let's walk through elo Eloquent. Let's delete some of this, clean it up. We'll keep the pseudocode for now. Okay, so these are all the indexes in Eloquent. Um, this is what uh, index is going to be. Um, okay, so for index in range len s, so index starts at zero and is zero in, be in between this range. No, it is not, so we skip this. Okay, now now index is one. Is index in between this range? Yes, it is. So oh, let's also keep track of what is new string. So new string starts off as empty. So now because index is inside this range, we're gonna update new string. So it equals L. We update index. Now index equals two. So is two in this range? It is. So we're gonna update new string. We're gonna add O. Whoops, not zero. Okay, update index. Is three inside this range? It is. So now we add Q. Okay, now that we update index. Now is index in this range? It is. So we add U. Update index. Is five in between zero and seven? Yes. Add E. Okay, update index is six in between zero and seven, yes, add n. Okay, now index takes on its last value, seven. Is seven in between zero and seven? It is not. So we skip this, we do not add t to our new string, and this is gonna be our return. It's gonna be L-O-Q-U-E-N. So let's try this. Uh, we may have some errors, that always happens, but we'll be able to debug them. The logic for our, our function is sound. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so we got it. Let's take a look uh, and see what the other solution is dead. Okay, so this is this is clever. We'll skip the clever ones and try and look for the readable ones. These are all clever. Um, This is if, this is really spelling it out. This might be worth you know reading if you're if you're really confused. This this breaks it down a little bit here. So so go ahead and read this this answer if you're still confused on this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.